make a ceramic toad or frog. So the first thing we want to do is to observe the key shapes of the animal. Okay, so when you look at um, the toad, you can see this shape here it looks a little bit like a peanut shape. And then the head is uh, slightly bigger, right on top. And then the legs, you can see it. Uh, this is actually a toad, see it? And, 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 the, and the legs are shorter. So you can see the, the leg is this shape. One, two, three. Okay, the thigh, and then go up to the knee, thigh, and then down, and then this way. So it's like a S shape. And then the, the hands in front is similar to our hands, elbow back and in front, elbow back and in front. Okay, so with this uh, observation, I'm going to put this uh, aside. Okay, what we want to do is to draw it so you can see it a little bit better. So this is the body. Okay, and then glasses kind of shape. And then followed by the legs. The legs comes up, down, and out. Up, down, and out. Can you see the shapes? And out. Up, down, and out. Okay, something like this. Up, down, and out. And then the hands here, you can see that it comes just like our hands coming out like that. Okay, down and up. And then of course, a toad or frog is an eye. So that will be the addition. Okay, so this is the basic shape. So what we do with the clay here, we have two pieces of clay. Okay, one piece of clay we can uh, form into the shape of the body. So we can start to beat it onto the board to sort of have a longish shape. Okay, like an oblong shape. And when we tap it, the the clay will, depending on how we tap it, we can get the shape we want. So we want to have a bump that is a little bit sharp. So you can just tap it this way. So you see this part coming out. I love to make frogs. It's so cute. All the boys will love doing this. Okay. And then um, you see the side view. And then what I can do is I can squeeze the head. Use my hands, my fingers, and squeeze. Squeeze the neck first, and then after that you can shape the head into a something like a triangle shape. Can you see two parts now? You should be able to see the head. Okay, when you squeeze at the neck, squeeze in like this, you can see the neck becoming more defined. Okay, and then over here at the body, you can push the clay together and form a very smooth uh, body. Okay, same for over here. And look at your subject all the time. Okay, every five minutes, you want to turn it around and see whether you have managed to make a symmetrical shape. That means the left body and the right body is the same, exact opposite. Okay, just like us, our left side of the body and right side of the body is symmetrical. Okay, so we form this basic shape first. Okay, the body, then a bit of neck, and then the, the head here. Okay, and we focus on the shape of the head. Um, the bottom, the base of the head is flat, so what you can do, you can just put a little bit of pressure. Okay, and then for the eyes part, you can push, push these two fingers back. So we found the basic shape first. Okay, so that's your frog body. Now we make the legs. Okay, we take another piece of clay. You can um, cut it into three parts. One, two, three. These two parts will be the hind legs, the legs at the back, and this two, this one will be the front leg. So you divide into half. So three parts and one part divide into half for the legs in front, the hands in front, and then the legs at the back. Next, our back like this, roll into a coin, and then when you roll, we roll forward and backward. Okay, then after that, we look at this shape here. Okay, we want to do this shape like an S shape up, up, and then down, and then out. Up and down, okay, and then out. Okay, and then we cut that away. 
Okay, so this is one part of the leg. So you can match it up. So too big. Okay, if it's too big, you can just kind of half, you get two legs. Like that. See? You can cut. Kind of half. And cut into half direction. Yeah. Okay. You can kind of half. Okay. And then uh, we make the parts uh, for the front here. Yeah. So we can uh, roll another coin, make it a little bit thinner. Because the front legs is uh, thinner than the back legs. Okay, so start from here. Okay, more or less you engage and then we end here. Okay, then the other one, you can just match it up. Make sure you have the same length, okay. half, so you get two. So we more or less try to match it up. Okay, we can even do like this. Turn so that you get the wet feet. And then you can, if it's still too long, you can pinch it away like that. Okay, we do the same thing here. Okay, just uh, press down so you get the feet. You see the feet. And then uh, match it up. And then you can also use the needle or satin stick to cut. Whatever exercise clay you don't want, just pinch it away. Okay, so basically match it up first. Okay, the legs uh, in front, okay, you put it from the side. Okay, so we have all the parts now um, for the frog, okay, except for the eyes. For the eyes, you can uh, take some clay, go on the uh, round ball, okay, take another piece, go on the round ball, and check that both sizes are the same. Okay, if this is too big, so you just simply remove, remove, and then uh, roll again. Make sure you get two about the same size, like that. Not big, huh? If you find that your eyes are too big, okay, you can always have it. <laughs> look like alien, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe see now it looks more realistic. Doesn't look, look like it's wearing goggles. <laughs> okay, then the next thing is we remove all the parts. Okay, remove the eye, remove the fore leg, remove the back leg. Okay, and we have to um, assemble it correctly. So um, when we stick one piece and another piece, we have to score. So this piece is going on to that piece. So we make it rough like this and uh, over here as well. Okay, then we put the slip like this. Like this. And then press it together. Press it firmly. Okay, and then we can blend the sides. Okay, you can use your fingers or you can use a tool okay, to blend the leg into the body. Okay. So that it's very secure. Okay, and then for the feet, if you don't like the feet, you can always take it away. And then make new feet. Okay, take some clay, roll into a circle first. Okay, then um, make it into a triangle like this. Okay, and then flatten. So you get a nice triangle like that. That's another way of making the feet. Okay, you can uh, add it. Okay, and then score. Make it rough. Okay. Put the slip and then press it down. Okay, we do the same for the rest of the frog. Okay, for the legs. Here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put the slip and press it down. And then for the eyes, the same. This is done. You can uh, make uh, details onto your frog. You can open the mouth. You can just shoot one and side. Nostrils. Okay, nostrils. Uh, make some expression. Okay, on the eye. You can do like this. You can make it smiling. Okay, or you can uh, just um, poke it as well. You can even give uh, eyelashes. Okay, the girl frog. 
Okay, now I have another detail there. And then for the legs, um, the web feet is very easy just like that. Use a skinny tool, make some impressions onto the onto the feet. Okay, not too hard, no? don't want to break the clay. One, two, three. Okay, and if you are making a tote, what you need to do is to add some um, rough, some dots on the surface. When you add, you have to of course uh, score both sides here and here. Okay, press it together. Okay, another way is to actually add some patterns as well. That also can be creative with your frog or toad. Okay, you can use your wooden tool to add patterns, or you can use the stamp over here. You can test it first. Okay, see if you like this particular texture, and then you can uh, press we'll onto the stamps. surface. Yeah, we're providing. So it looks rough. So it looks like a toad. Yeah. It's beautiful. Okay, if you don't want this, just remove it. Continue. Okay, make some texture on the forehead as well. And on the, on the legs. Okay, after this is done, um, you can apply some color on your frog. Maybe it has a slightly reddish body. Surprising as frog. Brown. Yeah, it is. <laughs> You can uh, have it all brown if you wish. Yeah, all brown. And then, um, then you can add a little bit of black. It's a dirty frog. It's just uh, a little bit of black. Yeah. Okay, finish. That's it. Done.